I lost my virginity this morning. Oh, really? Yeah, I wow. didn't want to tell you. And I know it's weird that it happened at like 6 a.m. Wait, to who? Okay. Oh my god, you're like actually so fucking prodding me. I'm already sharing oh. so much information. Oh, are, you don't know them. They go to a different school. Like, hello. Like, are you lying? Like, what okay, the hell? Okay, I actually didn't want to say because it was your fucking mom. Oh my god, it's literally my mom's birthday tomorrow. So, yeah, well, that's why yeah. I, because I took her virginity too, which is weird that's, because you're here. So it's like, mm, she lied to you. No, she was a virgin. She my bled mom everywhere. Is a total fucking slag. A total slag. Total fucking slag. I'm so sweaty today. It's been really hot in the house. It's back to being hot. Look, it's literally 99 degrees. Oh, wow. I don't know if the sun is blocking it, but it's literally 99 degrees in here. It's so fucking hot. Wow, that's but actually But with that lit. being said, um, I'm really sorry, and all I can say is I'm just going to go off my note, and this has nothing to do with you, but I can't believe people feel embarrassed but doing things in public. Like, mm. I I forgot who I was talking to. Oh, I was, like, walking around with, like, this group of friends, and one of them was like, you are, like, too crazy, and I don't think I could ever hang out with you alone because of, like, how loud I laugh, and I, like, am so quick to make jokes about everything yeah, happening. Yeah, you're a funny girl. You make people yeah. laugh. You're, like, a I'm comedian. I'm a funny girl. Funny, oh, funny girl. funny things happen to me. Um, but I'm just too funny and too loud and rambunctious for a lot of people. But genuinely, I think the one video that comes to mind that I know everybody will know when we reference it was me yelling in the elevator like stairwell at the mall and people being like how is she doing that like how is she not embarrassed like blah 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 hey, we can't take you anywhere i'm crazy <laughs> i'm fucking crazy Because it's fucking funny and it's literally so hilarious because to be so loud and make people look at you. Literally, who cares? Because those people, I am genuinely convinced, like 98% of the people that are around me at all times at any given moment genuinely aren't real. And like that might make me a narcissist or a sociopath, but like I don't believe it. I'm not buying it. I'm not real. Like <laughs> I'm. Um, what's. Don't. Hey, don't. You're not supposed to do that publicly. Don't do that. It's hiding in plain sight, babes. Like if okay, you do it, I guess, I guess I'm the they fool. don't. They're like, oh, like he would never. If he was actually in the Illuminati, he would never actually do that. Oh, but I, okay, you know, okay. But I okay. Can. I mean, I'm I'm fucking it up now because now they will cut that out. No, it's all in plain sight, babes. Oh, okay. Is okay. it so real? Is it not real? No, we're good. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So that wasn't real. Um, but yeah, I just was thinking about that because I just don't feel embarrassed. Actually, the things I feel embarrassed over are like. It comes and goes so quickly, and I'm not one of those people who sits and remembers things that embarrassed me. I can't think of a single thing that happened that I was like, oh, that was so embarrassing and humiliating. Like, I almost passed out. I wanted to throw up, and it was so uncomfortable. Because genuinely, if I do feel embarrassment ever, it goes away so fast. Like, I'm like, yeah. oh, that was embarrassing. And I almost say it like, like I'm just mimicking the humans around me. I'm like, guys, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> Because I think it was supposed to be and I, I just have to say it so people don't think I'm crazy. Yeah, when I do, when I get, like, there are a few specific things that come to my brain when I think of, like, times I've been actually embarrassed. One of them is farting in front of my whole class during reading time in, like, second grade. <laughs> most horrifying experience of my life. Like, I, guys, I didn't fart in front of anybody even like in public, like I didn't fart any in front of my friends, in front of my family, in front of my twin fucking sister. Like I didn't fart in front would of you anybody just leave until the room to fart? I would. I know how to make my fart silent because I have a big gaping butthole, and I <laughs> it's just so super stressed out there. Like oh, it, oh, <laughs> it just like breathe. It's like a breath. Um, it's like the nastiest thing I've <laughs> you've ever. Said. It's prolapsed too a little bit. Um, yeah, but. It would, or I didn't fart in front of anybody until maybe this year, like maybe last year at the most, because like, it, for some reason, farts like, like they're hilarious to me when they're not mine. 
but like my own like i was just like indoctrinated into this like anti-fart household where it was just not funny like no not even my yeah, brothers were, were, farted in front of me like that's fucking disgusting don't fart like, no it wasn't even like that just none of us farted in front of each other like it was it was crazy it was it really was an crazy unspoken shame yeah wow and yeah. was that hard for you it was pretty out. difficult what was i even saying about that because we were talking oh, about embarrassment. Oh, times I've been embarrassed. Yeah, um, yeah. It's That's been funny because you're difficult. let out the most wet shit like okay. fart yesterday. It wasn't wet. It was shitty. Like it was a <laughs> shitty dookie fart, but it was not wet. Like Dude, it literally like that is like it came out of the ass of somebody who just won a hot dog eating competition. Tell me why like, when I was in the bathroom after that, I was like, wow, why was that like one of my greatest acting performances of my life? Because I was like, I like every once in a while like i'll hear a sound and like get ptsd ridden and freak out and think someone's in the house and like i'll be like wait wait pause the tv what, what is that pause that pause that hurry and then it turns out to be our neighbors walking up the stairs or some bullshit oh this okay um, yeah well like before i let out this like diabolical demented disgusting <laughs> fucking nasty fucking fart bomb. biggest fart of my life um <laughs> I made a big fart out of my butt. Um, I was like, I gave just this performance. I was like, wait, 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 guys, guys, guys. Like, pause that. What is that sound? And then I bent over and went. Dude, no, it was literally like, it was literally like, like. Yeah, it was like, long. Like, it was literally like insane. It, it took shapes of its own. And me and Josiah literally were so shocked by it. We didn't even say anything. We were just like. Oh, it was so loud that I, my cup was, you were next to the table, my cup was on, and I moved my cup because I literally got the intrusive thought that I would get, like, pink eye or, like, something. Shitty oh. doo-doo flakes. Let's answer it. Hello? Ayurame, ayurame. Are you looking into upgrading your home? Oh, my God. Human. 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 Click one, 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 one over and over again. Guys, if you ever are talking to a robot and you want to speak to a human. Hi, um. Uh, I'm good. What about you? That's a robot. Are you a robot? Are you a, are you a robot? Oh, this is a robot. Ayurame. Are you a robot? Is this a robot? I really want to speak to a human. <laughs> Guys, okay. Life tick, also, life hack. Also, we're getting serious because we still haven't paid our gas. I know, I freaked so I literally out. was like, uh. I was like, ooh, wait. Because I heard sounds in the backyard this morning and I was like, oh, wow, they're, the ops are Every time we still opting. are doing the thing. This is so annoying that we're still doing this. We'll pay it. We'll pay it before we go away for vacation. But we haven't paid our power and our gas. And every time I hear sounds in the morning of like men around the house, I'm like, yeah, same. they're going to turn off my water. They're going to turn off the heater. Mm -hmm, um, same. Um, but life tip if you're ever speaking to a robot and you want to speak to a human just say human 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 and clicking one 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 over and over again and it overloads their system or some shit because like it has worked without fail like that's the I, way there's nothing else in this life that makes you more angry than talking to like an the automated robot. system no it's it's really like one they're replacing jobs two I don't want to speak to a stupid fucking robot. Like, literally, what the fuck? Oh, my God. AI has been in front of us this entire time. But I don't want to speak to a robot. I want to speak to a human. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, like, literally not chill, not fucking chill, like, nasty boots. Like, I fucking hate robots. Remember when they first started in um, putting in self-checkouts and literally the whole internet exploded and was like we're meeting our end yep. self-checkout is the devil mm -hmm. it literally is because like now they just fucking take pictures of your face all day and scan your shopping habits and they're collecting data on all of us yeah which i keep saying that and i'm afraid of and i don't know what it means but also that makes you mad and then i'm trying to think of something else i'm like what makes me that mad like that genuinely pisses you off and i think what genuinely pisses me off is people chewing sounds yeah like, no it's it that is the one thing that you cannot do i like genuinely no matter how much i love you no matter how close we are if you were chewing like a 
fucking animal around me, I will actually cut your head off. The thing is, is it's not even chewing like an animal. It is literally just natural human chewing sounds. Like, I could be like, like, twice, and then you'll be like, okay, like, you need to fucking stop now. Like, I'm not fucking kidding. Like, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. You need to stop. Sometimes, like, it hits a part of my brain, and then sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Because, like, like, Kai chewing gum the other day, literally, oh my god. It was driving me fucking crazy. And Josiah eating his fucking carrots. He was actually eating them like a fucking child, though, because he was crunching on them and chewing with his mouth really loud open because I think he liked hearing the crunch sounds, but I couldn't do it. And it was freaking me the fuck out. And chewing just like it hits a primal part of my body and brain that genuinely triggers caveman like anger. Like I want if there was a rock around me when somebody was chewing on food and it hit my brain that way, I think I would bludgeon them to death with Oh a my rock. god, you're fucking crazy. It's <laughs> sis, it is never that deep. Like it is literally never that deep. <laughs> Do you know what I mean though? Like it's, no? it's just like a rage that goes like it feels oh, like, like it crawls a, up a, my spine. Yeah, like a blackout, like a seeing red Yeah, rage. but it, and I know it's such a stupid thing to get that angry over, but I genuinely can't stop it. Like it's yeah. not by choice. It just takes over me. Something else is when I'm driving and someone honks at me, even <laughs> if I'm in the wrong, like I'm literally like, shut the fuck up. Like you're literally like a coward. You have Napoleon complex. You're a small little man and you need to use your big horn because you aren't hurt in <laughs> your you life and your wife is cheating on you and you're being cuckolded by your boss. Yep. And like, exactly. It's crazy. Like. Ex- I'm exactly. literally getting angry about it, yeah, like thinking, thinking about, about it. it. But like literally anytime I drive now, like I get road rage, but only for like 30, 13 seconds. Like someone like, I don't remember what it was, but I started chasing after them. And then I was like, what am I doing? And I'm about to miss <laughs> my turn. So I got a turn. Um, it's crazy. Oh, it was that guy who you were going the speed limit and literally behind you, he was oh, tailing your yeah. ass and, then, and honking at you. Yeah, and then sped around me. And I was In like, a Kia Soul. Oh, yeah, it was a Kia Soul. I'm sorry, love. If you drive a Kia Soul, like, you sis, weird. you're over. How like, did it's that done. hamster commercial really get you like yeah, that? How did they done. get you? Wait, those commercials are actually so They lit. were lit, but then, like, you were into it. And all it took was blinking your eyes once to realize you were watching CGI hamsters dance around a tiny car. Yeah. You know what other commercials like ingrained in my brain forever? The Gatorade commercials where they were sweating Gatorade out of their pores. Like some of the hardest like commercial graphics ever. I've been like obsessed with like promotional campaigns recently like obviously we all know the kill bill campaign like slashing blood spraying all the all over the wall like that vibe like creative like i think it was like coca-cola that did like showers no 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 it was sprite maybe or vitamin water but like basically they went uh, they built like showers at a beach that were shaped like fountain sodas like you know when you oh. push, and they were showers that you push a button and it rains on you and it was a promotional campaign for like sprite or something um literally love gorilla marketing i love the um what's the other one there was like a it's like a mercedes one the Merce- or BMW. it was a BMW, yeah. It's the, like once battle. you start going fast enough, then you'll look like us. And it was like the mm-hmm. Mercedes logo spinning fast enough that it looked like a BMW logo. Yes. Whoever so made that sick. up was on one and had to have done a little bit of math. Yeah, 100%. Because what the fuck are you talking about? Like, like, how did you conceive that? Genuinely, what are we talking about right now? Also, like, just like that BMW, Mercedes, like mutual beef. symbiotic beef, public beef, but behind the closed doors, like, everybody's winning was yeah. so sick literally so sick well i keep thinking about all the weird shit that happened in middle school that i have kind of talked to uh, talked about but i need to talk about again um and i was just thinking about like my first kiss the other day like my first proper makeout kiss slut what you've never made out with someone absolutely fucking not are you fucking saving yourself or something yes Okay, if I'm a slut, you're a freak. What now? You're I'm a, a fucking holy freak. man. I'm a holy man. Yeah, I know some holes you uh, got, man. Oh, yeah, I got fucking gaping holes. <sighs> what is it? You were... Were... <laughs> 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 uh, but if you've heard this story, just fucking listen to it again. I don't fucking care. Um, but my first <laughs> Me, kiss... us to each other after every fucking story no, we've ever genuinely. told 36 times. We have the same conversations 
every single, single day, fucking yeah. day. It's really, really crazy. The only new things are like mic drops of the really sad, dark shit that's happened in our life where we're just guys. Oh, sorry, it's your last day. This is June thirteenth. The last day I'm hitting this. This will probably come out two or three weeks after the fact. I'm not hitting this anymore. I swear I'm holding it down. It's for my beautiful mother. Happy birthday to you. you. And we don't want to get copyright and strike. Love you, mom. Happy birthday. <laughs> she God listens bless to Pam. Ev- my mom listens to every single episode of me talking about spraying shit and poop out of my butt <laughs> um, and farts. Well, my parents don't. Which is like actually kind of sad, but I guess my mom literally wouldn't understand. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is she gonna be listening for? Um, but I first just wanted kiss. to, yeah, I wanted to reiterate my first kiss, and if you've heard it, I'm sorry because I have told it like eight times because it's actually probably the funniest story ever to me. So it was like sixth or seventh grade, and I was just started to date this kid because for Slut. Valentine's Day, okay. I mean, like, it's only natural. Mm-mm. It's natural for men to date. Oh, I mean, he, okay, he courted me. I didn't court him. Okay, but you still pursued it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but also me saying courted over seventh grade, like, foolishness. Okay, so setting Puppy the love. scene. It's like sixth, seventh grade, take care is on the radio all the fucking time. Yes. You already know the vibes. The vibes are elite. For Valentine's Day, he gets me this really big what grade thing. Was it? Like seventh grade, I think. <laughs> you get your first kiss to seventh grade. Holy shit. I actually do think it was sixth grade, but I don't remember. <laughs> um, like not because I'm not a fucking loser. Like I lost my first kiss really fucking easy. Actually, no. <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, keep going. I was gonna up. say something else. Um Wow. Your virginity? Not my virginity. I did lose my virginity when I was 18. Wow. Because I am, I am a law-abiding citizen. I lost mine to a 30-something-year-old when I was 16. <laughs> I wish that was a joke. I know it's not. <laughs> Military vibes. Sure. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say something. No, never mind. And I lied and said I was joining the Army, too. <laughs> oh, you are a part of the Army. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll um, tell that story another day yeah one day one day coming soon um but whatever we start dating on valentine's day this is just a cute thing to mention i was really into polymer clay during the time Aww. so i made him and he was like his cousins and him were all like graph writers and he would graph write his name with the superman s so i made him a superman toy. logo he's such a toy yeah he's a toy he's like not really about it um but i made him a superman logo pendant and gave him a necklace with that pendant on that's it that's so cute for valentine's day and he probably got it and was like bitch i do not want to wear this because he never wore it but also I, it's like exposing himself yeah it's like embarrassing too it's just too much but it's cute that was my cute gift and while i was making it take care I was playing and i was like i would take care of him Ew. i was like <laughs> i was like i literally would take care of him uh, i wish i had that feeling <laughs> it's crazy you've had it uh once and then it blew up in your face and like set your life on fire yeah um it's we'll not even there. also it's not even that like my walls are built up it's just like no one t- is intriguing yeah and it, i feel like you're also at the age now where you know so many cool people so finding someone is like only harder does that make sense yeah. i feel like when you get all the dating shit out young it's like okay i know what i like i know what i don't like blah blah, blah like easy said and done and then you're used to like the game of it so you can date really easy but mm-hmm. since you haven't it's like too much to just jump in with a random like, yeah that feels crazy i feel i bet no yeah i'm like why would i literally ever do that why would i do that when i know some of the coolest people Hello. like genuinely i have like more than enough love from the people that i surround myself with that like um, i will literally just have sex with people when i need it yeah yeah when your urges <laughs> yeah when my primal <laughs> urges kick in <laughs> um but that is besides the point that was just a cute thing so we're dating for i don't remember how long but 
we were all friends with the same people and our mutual close friend, I'll just say, I think this was, this was her nickname. So I'll just say it. Um, our mutual friend CC was like, y'all like need to make out. Like you haven't made out yet. And I was like, I know, but I'm just like nervous. Like, I don't want to make out. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She's like, oh my God, like everybody wants to make out. You need to make out with him. And I was like, okay, fine. Like I'll fucking make out with him, which is like such a funny conversation to be happening in the middle of what, like English class. What the fuck are we talking about? And so I didn't have the same class with him. I had like a band class while they had. You were in band? Like history. Uh, No, not by like choice. They just like had us in a musical Mm. class. I never touched a fucking instrument in my life. Nerd. Okay. Well, I was a slut, so I couldn't have been a nerd. But I guess I was like a nerdy slut hybrid. Yeah, you were like bad teacher vibes. Yeah, I was like hybrid. (laughs) Emma Stone, Cameron Um, Diaz vibes. But basically, they told me to skip class because all his friends were in his class. So I skipped class while they had lunch and went to the hallway while they they all came back from lunch early so they could watch us make out. And I stood in the hallway with this kid and made out with him while all our friends stood around us and watched. Like the weirdest shit ever. They all just stood around and watched. It sucked balls. He got spit all over my face. I was so uncomfortable. I fucking hated it. It was so weird. And you know, like that post, like make out dried spit. No, literally like wiping my my, mouth on my sleeve. I was like, okay. Um, And I just backed up. And then their teacher came to like let them in the room and looked at me and was like, Enya, you don't have this class right now. I was like, oh, my teacher let me like come in, whatever. And then she like looked at us all and she was like, what were y'all doing? And I was like, we weren't doing anything. And then proceeded to give us a lecture, like a really religious lecture about how you should be dating to marry. People don't date for fun. You date to marry, to find your she significant ate. other she for the ate. rest of your life. You Dating is a fun activity. You're supposed to be doing it to lock it down. And she looked at me and she was like, do you want to be with him for the rest of your life? And I was like, I don't know because I was literally in fucking like sixth or seventh grade. And I was like, um, and then she sent me to the vice principal and I got what PT for skipping class. So she, fu- not only did she ruin my vibe, she was literally a boner kill. Yeah, like actually. Um, She freak. ruined the vibe and she sent me to what my school called PT, which was physical torture. I hated and that. And I had to do crab walks in the hot sun for a lame ass kiss. But the funniest part is after doing all that, I go home and my friend Cece calls me. She's like, oh my god we didn't get to talk like how was it and i was just like oh yeah it was so good like it was literally <laughs> the best it was more than i could have ever expected like it was so fucking good and she's like oh my god good because he's on the line bitch now what if i told you that shit sucks oh like, my what if god I in you? she's like here i'll get off so y'all can talk to each other i was like no uh and then she just like left us on the phone and I was just standing Wait, with Wait, Cece was that girl though. I know, like, I was just standing was with lit. the family phone that anybody in my house could pick up at any moment and hear my fucking conversation, which we need to bring that back because mm-hmm. that kind of like eavesdropping is top tier. But then I just stood there awkwardly like I don't even know what we talked about. I think he was like, Hey, like how was the rest of your day? And I told him I got PT and he was like oh I'm so sorry and then it was kind of silent and then wait it was so like, you got PT and he didn't no he didn't because oh. he wasn't skipping class so he oh, was fine I thought it was because of the kids. no it wasn't because of the kids I think it was both I think she was slut shaming me and yeah. being like damn girl you're missing your education for it's some giving fucking, misogyny yeah for some bad kissing and I was like yes and then uh, we did break up soon after that and then my next boyfriend was a good kisser and we would make out all the time in the hallways and I was one of those people you're so nasty I I was probably one of those people who literally like (gasps) in the middle of classes would be making out with my with my 7th grade boyfriend in the middle of the hallway and and then oh my god you've always loved love yeah no, I, I just I have a problem and I really need attention. But. Yeah, yeah. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash intercom. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Listen, listen up closely to yourself. Yeah. It's time for you to look inside yourself and see what makes you so delusional that you listen to this podcast every single week. But on a serious note, 
it is so important to self-reflect. And sometimes that can be really hard, especially when we're constantly distracted by being empathetic, loving girls towards the people in our lives. Taking a step back and taking space for myself was the best thing I ever did, and I could never thank my therapist enough. I genuinely believe once you start therapy, there's no looking back, and it will only benefit you. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash intercom. My first kiss um, was at the Justin Bieber um, documentary in the I movie you were theater. I was going to say concert. I was like, whoa, you got to go to a Justin Bieber concert? No, no, no. But I told everyone I was selling fake tickets to it, to a Justin Bieber You're concert. You're so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, what happens? Like, how did you land your smooch at the Justin Bieber documentary? I literally turned and was like, <laughs> and we kissed and that was it. And then we sat like this the rest of the movie. <laughs> I'm not joking. It was so awkward. And that's one of those and things like, that, no, for real, that's one of those things to this day that I'm still like humiliated by. It was just that moment. I don't know why it was so scary to me. There's like a couple moments that happen like in high school that I'm just like, oh my fucking God, like why did I do that? Um, and then one of them, like, I called you about like freaking the fuck out. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Which was like literally the one that of the craziest. One was, that moments. is like actually insane. Yeah, it's not even embarrassing. It's just it's like just it like, is, but it's also like just mean. Yeah, it's more so just like mean spirited and wrong. Yeah. Um, guys, I was hate crimed. <laughs> I watched her face like. I wish I was joking. Yeah, it's not funny. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's funny. I can only laugh. Yeah, that's and, yeah. no one tells me anything for. Actually, I think I am good with sympathy, but for the most part, if it's crazy, I have to laugh first, and then I'm like, I'm actually sorry. That's really fucked up, and I'll go into my empathy. But life is too crazy. That shit is like actually no, comically it's fucking literally, crazy. Literally, it's actually so funny and like insane, like the circumstances of it all, and just like really fucking weird. Also, behavior. just so ass backwards. Like you doing the right thing, turning into that is so. I know. It, that I think that's what makes it comical. Is you were being like, I'm. A, I'm one of the nice guys. No, like, literally, I was like, no, was we like, can't okay. be doing this. We can't be doing this. Um, And then it bit you in the ass. And that goes to show that's why you should be evil. I know. That's why men are evil. Yeah. It's women's fault, usually, um, I feel. Yes. Yes. Also, I'm a little sick because we went to see Janet Jackson. I got my way. We went to see it. It was the best night of my life. But these women gave me a full glass of wine. And because I have issues and if something's in my hand, I can't not have it. Um, on the way out, I was feeling pretty fine, but then I chugged it on the way out because I'm fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. And by the time we got down the hill, I felt so drunk and I was like, oh, now I'm drunk. And I was asking random people for cigarettes. Um, and after screaming to Janet all night and smoking, I fucked my throat up that and it's not the first time sucks. I fucked it up, but. Ew, whoa. Um, well, this is one of the only notes I have taken. If God ends up being real and I go to hell, I'm literally going to freak the fuck out. <laughs> like, at the and I literally am like going to hell. Like, no, I'm a good person. I don't think so that's why I'm saying like I think I'm a good the, person the and spectrum... I'm a spiritual person. I like believe in something. Like, he's just not giving me enough fuck or it is not giving me enough fucking proof to like know if it's real or not. Like. But also, it's, like, the whole idea of, like, okay, and God bless anybody who, like, is an overachiever in their faith. Like, I, this isn't to discredit it. But it's kind of, like, the idea of the overachievers in high school. Like, I'm sorry to use you as a fucking, yeah. like, example. But this motherfucker got straight A's, really thought he was going to be a doctor. Look at where he's at. He's sitting here talking about his gaping hole and farting. And like smoking a rotten puff bar. Yeah, like, you just, you, and that's how I feel about practicing your faith in real life and the about the ends people will go to prove that they are good enough and worthy enough to be accepted into this place i'm like girl there's so much actual evil shit you could be doing trust and believe you can kiss somebody before you get married and you will get in no, like for real also like 
Also, since you're so close with him, text him when you get there. No, it's really crazy and like just so I, I love this saying there's no hate like Christian love or something like that. Like, have you heard that? There's no no it, it's just so real. <laughs> Um, no, but genuinely, I'm like, there's such a hateful persons. Like, I don't want to align with that. I do have like faith in something. I don't know what the fuck it is. Um, but like organized religion, one is a big fucking scam and a finesse and really fucking scary. And like, I've seen what it does to people and how it just like rips apart their families. And I've seen it like destroy people's psyches and they were great, great, genuinely kind people. And then like, I've seen them just go down this rabbit hole of conspiracy, like anti-gay, like just all this really, really gnarly bad shit that just like is so fucking heartbreaking to witness. And it's all for what like a bible that isn't fucking true that was written probably it that that's the other crazy fucking part about the bible is it has been translated a billion fucking yeah. times and like literally go on google translate and translate like i like suck an ass to spanish and then fucking put it back into english <laughs> like it doesn't work it's not real also if the thing you believe so heavily in ha has such a costly effect of negativity towards so many people. I just don't understand how that doesn't make you step back from it and reconsider the values of this thing you believe in. And now obviously I understand. Yeah, I understand that like people need something. Everyone needs something. I'm so sure that if I didn't have like the love and affection I have from you guys and my family and my love life and like, like the successes I've had, I would have to turn to something and that might be religion. It might be something like more negative, whatever. And there are more negative things to turn to. But when your religion literally starts making it that you're on your iPhone, screaming into your iPhone, chomp, please save me. Over a child shirt with a rainbow on it. Something, something, something like, is really, something is really wrong. Got lost in translation. Yeah, no, like, like actually. For real. But I don't know. I like deconstructed my faith like when I was like 15, 14 or 15. And it was like literally one of the scariest, hardest moments of my life. Um, And now I am existing as my own God. Oh. Kind (laughs) of. Not in like a delusional. Yeah, not in like a delusional like I am Scary way, but like in a way where I'm like, oh, I'm like stardust and I'm like. 99.9% 99.9% empty space and like none of this really actually exists once you're dead so like live it up babes live it up yeah I just I also think I got lucky that I didn't grow up in a super religious household mm-hmm. like my parents are definitely religious my parents believe in God but they've never pushed or implied any of the rules and kind of gnarly ideology that came along with it. I was never told, like, God is watching or, like, Same. you'll repent or, like, whatever. Like, I, w- I was never told I would, like, pay for my sins. Like, I was just taught basic moral ground rulings that parents teach their kids. Like, don't lie. Don't do this. Don't do that. But it was never followed. Like, and if you do do that, you're going to burn in eternity for all of your life. So enjoy your fun while you have it, I guess. Exactly. Which is so crazy. My family was like the exact same way where they were just like, you can do whatever the fuck you want, which is uh, the sickest way to raise your children. Like, if they want to go to church, support it. If they don't want to support it, it was so sick. And they raised me so well. Look at me. I'm talking about my gaping butthole on a podcast yeah. right now. Like, I mean, I you can ask for better. Raised perfectly. Um, no, but genuinely. And then like, oh, fuck, what was I going to say? What were you just talking about? Oh, like the reason why I was like indoctrinated into this shit was because I grew up in the fucking Bible Belt in South fucking Texas, like yeah, whatever. It, like, it's like bound to happen when that's the community around it. My harsh reality was finding out geographically texas is not, not really the south. the south but i mean it is like hello like I'll yeah ride that shit. i feel like culturally it is so now yeah. what um but. but yeah religion is really intense Tricky. and if you are religious this is not to bash you no do genuinely not take it like that please because i do I will save say, me i'm not joking like <laughs> save me i will say i've always felt this like i genuinely wish i had a connection to it Because I feel like it would calm a lot of the anxieties I have. But instead, I got a therapist who actually texted me the other day. Well, 
I have to text her back. But it's crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, we were making jokes like she needs that fucking check. She's missing a patient. But <laughs> I actually do have like such a good relationship with her. And it is crazy because I was just two nights before going on an emotional sobbing tangent about how I need to finally see a psychiatrist and something's wrong with me. And I'm never going to be normal because I'm 24, like inching towards 25. And I still feel the same way I did when I was 14. But so scary. <laughs> It doesn't change. Just wait till you turn 25 and you realize that. <clears throat> oh, you think I'm making it to 25? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll make you make it to 25. I'm um, so sorry. I'm going to get up for one second to get water. No, I need, really I need I need water too. Women um, don't get wet. What? Women don't get wet. You've never made a woman wet? Mm, that's all a myth. Um. Okay, I wanted to play F. Mary Kill. <gasps> Oh, because but I don't know with who Um, I just have F. Mary kill written down. OK, I'm going to give the three people. Oh, OK. Tati, Shane Dawson or Jeffree <sighs> Star. Oh, wow. Wasn't that a good one? I yeah. do. I'm going to give mine because I already know. Yeah, I'm marrying Tati. That I'm fucking a- Jeffrey. I'm killing Shane Dawson. Hmm. I might switch Jeffrey and Shane. Whoa. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I guess like neither are like the most viable. Okay, Jeffree Star is on TikTok doing TikTok live battles. so crazy. Something crazy has shifted in the universe. Funneling funneling money from his fans into his bank account. As if he needs it. It's so crazy. I hope that money's being donated or like, I don't know what the fuck that money goes to because when we get tipped, we don't get the money. So I'm like, is TikTok just getting out? I don't know. The whole tipping culture on TikTok live in general is really, really crazy. With that said, me and Inyo are going to be battling on TikTok. Please donate to me. August 4th, 10 a.m. PST. Please donate to me. Um, Okay, F. Mary Kill... Orion, Josh, Josiah. Whoa, okay, Orion. Well, I'm marrying Orion. Dude, this is gross. Yeah. This is like so gross, but I'm having sex with Josh and I'm killing Josiah. <gasps> wow. Cause I Mine is like, the exact same. Yeah, because I <laughs> literally. I think like, Lucas killed me. Like, I can't imagine Josiah. Like, Josiah and you genuinely don't have genitals, and I don't want to know if you do. Babe, I have genitals. Let me tell you about <laughs> it. Um, also, before this episode ends, because we literally have to run, like we have to leave right now, let's do a love compatibility test between oh, us. Oh, um, wait, is that the thing that's like when like you would put Justin Bieber's name in? Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. So I'm going to do... The love calculator. Oh, wait. Love compatibility. Names test. Ah. <gasps> What is it? Okay. Wait. It has to be more than that. Yeah, that's not chill. Hold yeah, on. Don't I'm give taking out name. the last name. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay. <laughs> 86%. Okay, wait, what's the science there? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, right below that, when I'm talking about my babe over here, I get an Am I Gay quiz. <laughs> this is crazy. You should take that. <laughs> We'll do that for another episode. Yeah, we'll do that for Patreon. <laughs> we'll do the uh the gay there's like the gay quiz and then the like morality scale. Yeah, quiz. and also like there's another one. <laughs> oh my god. What's wrong with you? You know what I will say, Drew, is you're looking very masculine. Thank like you. something in my primal body is like I'm like I'm like, hey. Is that the same for you? I am talking to you. I heard your heart flutter. I heard your heart fart. 
It's crazy because there was other, like, stories from high school that I wanted to tell that are, like, sometimes just too much. Oh, actually, I'll tell this one from middle school that I am very aware is a gnarly fucking story. I'm very aware. Actually, I literally can't It can't be worse than me spray painting a kid. Oh, it it is. No, it's not. I spray painted a kid. Well, it's worse because it's, like... We were literally kids, so this is crazy. But one time during my dating, the like popular guy who was a really good kisser who we would like make out in the hallways with, I was walking to lunch with everybody, and you had to walk past the band room to get to like the lunch yard, to the cafeteria. And this kid, I'll just call him Jay, was holding the door. Jay Cyrus and Doja Cat. Yeah, Jay Cyrus and Doja Cat were at the door, and Jay was like. And yeah, come here, open this door. And I was like, what's behind the door? And he was like, nah, you're a pussy. You don't want to open the door. I was like, what's behind the fucking door? I'm not a fucking pussy. And he was like, open the door. Like, I dare you to open the door. Uh, Have I said it on the podcast? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just finish it, though. Um, I opened the door and there were two kids engaging, who I knew, engaging in sexual acts behind the door. And everybody had ran up behind me to see it. And I felt so bad because I was friends with the girl and the guy. But I was really close friends. So or not close friends, but I was friends with the girl. And I felt so bad. And she knew how to fight. So I was like, fuck, I'm going to get my ass beat. <laughs> it's all the um, TikToks and the Snapchats. And yeah, the it's all the like doodads games, and the, the devices, kicks. And, yeah. Uh, but yeah. And then, oh but my after, God, kick and keek. Yay. I was up to no good. I'm I was up, up to, to no, no good. good talking to Bella Thorne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up to no good on kick. Um, but yeah, and then after she was like, I apologized to her because I felt like I had exposed her and she was just, she was really Me when nice I play basketball it. and I break a kid's ankles, expose him. Is that a thing people say? Mm-hmm. Oh, well. All right. Well, that concludes this episode. Let's give a couple medias and move on. Um, okay. Flash Cannon Casanova by Yabujin. Um, Nightwalker Sick Boy Rari. O U D A by Hamid Al Shari, I think. Really pretty song. Um, and then I'm gonna watch the new Blackberry movie. Oh um, yeah, we need to do that very soon uh, because I'm excited AF about it. Um. Well, my media of the week is "Simple Kind of Life" by No Doubt. I'm this guy, Norma Tanega. Don't be afraid. The was like. Dabby! Of the way that you feel, don't be afraid. And then Muskrat Love, Muskrat Candlelight by Willis Allen Ramsey. That song makes me feel so nice. So, 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 so nice. And then, yeah, that's it for media. Let's fucking go. Thank Um, you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the short episode. Um, we've been stacking episodes, um, because we're gone for a month and a half. Um, also buy our merch. (laughs) 